Hello. Um, uh, yesterday I posted this video and I made a mistake in the identifications of the tree flowers. This is not ash and this is Norway maple. It's uh, distinct uh, yellow green flowers, kind of a big um, flowers uh, you can see and uh, a while ago, like probably almost like a three weeks ago, I posted the like other kind of a, a maple, and that was like a, a kind of a tiny flowers, and uh, but it's still beautiful, but definitely no maple flowers is so beautiful, and uh, I was amazed that, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I never knew, I never noticed these flowers before uh, in my entire life, uh, even though I, I uh, was identifying Norway maple because of the, uh, uh, the seed part is a distinct uh, shapes, uh, but uh, I never paid attention and the flowers. So when I saw this, wow, you know, this is uh, something that uh, I, I should know this particular tree because uh, I went around this uh, during the fall and I was telling them, oh, this is no way maple, this is ash and everything, but still uh, I couldn't tell. And this is, uh, I would say, uh, it's a plum. Uh, I don't know what kind of plum it is, it uh, looks like American plum, but I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, this is not the uh, it's kind of a difficult to identify these things, but uh, this is a maple, uh, I'm sorry, this is apple tree, crab apple tree, and uh, you know, you can see crab apple, very easily identifiable, uh, leaves and fragrance, flowers and, and everything. And uh, apple trees is still uh, a little bit too early to see the full bloom. And this is a maple, Norway maple. Again. Yeah. So, one reason that I started to wonder if this is uh, something that I missed is because I. I went around this area and I identified most of the trees and uh, well, you know, I'm not sure this is an ash tree, and, uh, uh, but uh, it turns out to be maple, Norway maple, so yeah. Uh, this is the Bloodford pear. I think uh, the common name is the Gary pear and uh, in there there was a two kinds of the Bradford pear and the Chantilly pear. But I'm not sure which one that is, but uh, uh, definitely this is a Gary pear tree. And a beautiful, beautiful trees. But as you know, the branches break off very, very uh, badly, so now the uh, city itself uh, not recommending to plant this particular ornamental flowering trees anymore, I think. So people are discouraged to plant this. But uh, nonetheless, you know, people have planted in this area a lot of them. And uh, they, that's why you see them beautifully flowering. I used to know, I used to have uh, like a regular pear tree. Regular pear tree Flowers are, are sparse, but also it's white and it's very beautiful too. And so I remember that. But the uh, pear itself is, you know, a big pear, uh, and you don't eat them, then they drop on the floor and all kinds of uh, insect, uh, you know, like uh, wasp type of insects, yellow jacket type of insects come down. But this Bradford pear uh, does have a very tiny, tiny. Uh, pear, uh, it's dropped down on the ground, it's kind of a little bit messy, but uh, it should be okay. Uh, this is a sand cherry, 
Again, the, the maintenance people of the uh, shrubs and trees are uh, clipped very hard. And uh, I always feel like it's kind of sad that they do that. Uh, you know, flowering potential is much less if you clip like this. So, yeah. Uh, this one is relatively good. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing that the, uh, this is very, very fragrant flowers. Uh, this is uh, last year's fruit of the uh, uh, hawthorn. And I don't know the variety of this particular hawthorn, uh, Critagus, but uh, I don't know what the variety is. And still, you, can, you don't see the flowers because uh, last year's fruit is still hanging on. Yeah, Critagus uh, fruits uh, all through the winter. It's uh, you know visible, and uh, so that's what the value of the Critagus is pretty to look at. This is another bloodfold pear on the street. A very beautiful flower. Yeah, so these are the, you know, April 24th, acting, uh, actually, and uh, it's pretty uh, 